I am going to show you how to make meal prepping super simple and try to do it in about 60 minutes or under. I already have my meal plan made. Uh, if you guys need help with that, that is a big step towards meal prepping. So maybe you can hire a nutritionist, hire a coach, or just look online for a pre-made meal plan. Um, you can also use the one I'm about to use today, but have a meal plan in order with all the recipes. From there, you want to collect all the ingredients you're gonna need and make a grocery list. This is big so that when you go to the grocery store, you know exactly what you're looking for and you're gonna get tempted with all the other little extras and all the fancy things and looking at what the grocery store has. All right, so here's my little pre-made meal prep for the week. I've got egg white omelet for breakfast with some veggies. I've got healthy orange chicken, some protein bars, a Mediterranean fish dish, salmon, beets, all the good stuff. That's gonna be my little meal plan for the week. So you guys can screenshot that. I'm gonna try and time myself to keep a rolling clock to see how long this meal prepping session takes. Assuming you already have your meal plans all made, um, I am going to write down everything I need. today which is one of my favorite grocery stores we decided just for YouTube we would take you to the good looking grocery store um, and pro tip about making your shopping experience as easy as possible don't forget your list I've done that many times remember to bring the list with you and bring a pen so you can cross things off as you go through the store and um, yeah it just makes it easier so you can see if there's anything left on the list that way you don't forget it so I like to write my list kind of dividing things up into proteins, carbs, snacks or extras, veggies, and dairy products. Um, I don't usually, I don't usually have like a set way I do it, but it is easiest to have some sort of, some sort of categorization to your list. I almost forgot to put like the veggie the heat of veggies that I need, like the bell peppers and the mushrooms and the onions for one of my recipes because I skipped over it and I was like, oh, I already know what's in that recipe. I don't need to go back and look at it. But then I was like, no, just go back, look at all your recipes, make sure you have everything on there, do a little check through. And it should take probably like five to 10 minutes if you know your recipes, five minutes, if you know, you gotta kind of look through it, give yourself 10, maybe 15 minutes. But a good grocery list is worth making. Do you ever use a grocery list when you shop? Um, yeah, I put it in notes on my phone. Oh, really? Do you actually use a grocery list? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought he just kind of went for what looked good. <laughs> That's good. You no, should I use mean, a grocery I, list. I'll be honest, I don't write it down every single time, but I always have an idea in my head of what I want. Yeah. And I usually get about 50% of that. Yeah. I love grocery lists. They help me They help me think clearly. And I'm very tempted to pick off, you know, all the good looking things off the shelf. So the grocery list helps keep me in check because while I'm at the store, sometimes I'll be like, ooh, I want to try that or I want to make that. And then I look at my list and I'm like, you got enough stuff on here. And then I know if it's not on the paper, can't buy it unless it's like extremely, extremely unique and on sale and whatever. Oh, and if it's on sale, I do tend to bulk buy. So for example, like monk, monk fruit or any type of sugar substitute is very expensive. So if I see that on sale, I'll buy a ton. Same thing with my favorite chocolate bar, Lily's. If Lily's on sale, we get a lot of them. If protein bars are on sale, you know, you get what's on sale. But with Lily's, you better get your own. I did get my own. <laughs> you ate all of it. I'm talking to myself. Yeah. So anyways, I buy it on bulk sale and then Steven's like, oh my God, we got all this chocolate in the house. That means we get to eat extra this week. What do you have to say? It's him. <laughs> it's peanut. Peanut's in the back. He does look guilty. <laughs> he has a fantastic guilty face. Beef? Oh yeah. Oh for peanut. sure. He would love it. He has to... Peanut, can you earn it? <laughs> sit, sit. There you go. Sit, Peanut. Oh, okay. Good job. And then How you should be able to speak. speak. Oh yeah. Yeah. I say? Speak. Yeah. Did he spit it out? <laughs> he's, he's very picky. Yeah, he's like, is it a meat treat? Oh, yeah. He likes meat treats. Speak. 
Speak. <laughs> Speak louder, Pia. Oh, is that he's whispering? Speak <laughs> louder. Oh my gosh, these t-shirts are so cute. Yeah. Wait, let me see it. I'm not wearing any pants. Speak. <laughs> Speak. There's one that says the. <laughs> oh, there it was. There that was a good, good job, one. bud. So that's his name on it, but he's a little bit large for this one. Ah, uh, it's a muscle tee. This is a this is a good choice. Ooh, that looks bowl. fancy. It has his name on it. Meanwhile. Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. Pokey bowl for That's what I was going for. What did you find, Mister? What did you find? What did you find? You gonna pick something else out for yourself? Ooh, what is that? Didn't know we were doing grocery shopping for the pets today. Which one in there is for you? <laughs> you want a lamb here? I want to get one for Gracie. Gracie's gonna. Oh, thank you. Oh. Gracie's gonna be there tomorrow. He picked so... one out. Oh, he loves that. That's his favorite one. That's the lamb. We'll get that one too. Yeah. Gracie's gonna eat that in a second. <laughs> So they also do teeth cleaning at this pet shop, but Peanut naturally has this teeth right here. Everyone compliments his teeth. Have you not had people tell you Peanut's got great teeth? I mean, it's they compliment Peanut more than me in general, but yes, I've heard that one. Sit. Good, sit. Ah, ah, ah. Peanut down. Good, down. Peanut, speak. There's mom, Peanut. She always finds a creative way to get in. No, because the door is broken. The door handle is And work. whose fault is that? Seriously, I'm asking because somebody ran into my car and they didn't tell me. Oh, I thought for a second you were thinking that I did that. <laughs> That's what I made it sound like. Protein for calorie, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah? So, six servings in here. This guy is in every week purchase. And how much protein is it? I want to say 20. Do you know how much? I think it's 22, oh. but correct me if I'm wrong. 22, 23. 18. That's because they changed the serving size. It's oh, three fourths true. of a cup, true, right? True. Ooh, this one's on sale. We should get one of these too. This one looks great. Vanilla. 14 grams of sugar though, that's a little bit high. This one, 16, oh, protein 16. So see, this one for the same amount of yogurt, you don't get quite as much protein. Uh, same amount of calories, but a little bit less protein, which is why I prefer the Fage. Mm -hmm. Your hand's shaking there a little bit. A little bit. Curious, uh, have you tried the goat's milk yogurt down there? It's a little bit of a different consistency. You talking to me or talking to the camera? I'm talking to you. What, what were you... Asked you if you tried those. I do not like goat milk. This one has 7 grams of protein, 14 grams of sugar. And this one is what? Vanilla. That's a lot of sugar. Whole milk yogurt? Yeah, I know, but that looks really good for like dessert mm -hmm. at night. It is good. And it's on sale. I think I'm going to grab it. A little bit of that and a protein shake goes a long way. after I went grocery shopping. I came home from Lazy Acres and I was exhausted. My quads were so sore from Monday's workout and I was just, just dead. So uh, those of you that do the IG lives with me, you know that Monday was really, really tough. Honestly, the secret to making meals at home is to having everything ready to go. So like all of your herbs are cut up, all of your veggies are washed and cut and then your proteins are marinated and all you have to do for dinner is literally that 15 minutes of actually cooking the meal. So I tried to go to the grocery store, make a meal plan and make a grocery list and meal prep all in one video, but I'm gonna have to split it into two videos because it was just too much for one, which I think is great because I really, you know, I wanna give you guys information that you can act on and the main takeaway from this video is use a grocery list, 
you know, stick to the list and don't buy anything that's not on the list because that's what's going to save you when you have those moments of like wanting to give in to your cravings and eating a bunch of snacks or a bunch of chips or candy that you have in your cupboards. If you don't buy that stuff, you won't have it in your cupboard and you can't give in to your craving. And that's really a big secret of how I stay on my diet. It's not because I have great self-control. It's because I know I don't always have great self-control and I know that I have moments where I want to go and check for my cupboards and see what's in there to eat that's not on my meal plan. But then if I stick to a grocery shopping list, then I really don't have the opportunity to cheat on my diet because I don't keep those foods lying around. Might be different for you if you don't live at home alone, but do try to have you know a game plan for your week. Have a meal plan you're planning to stick to and have a grocery list that fits just the meal plan and nothing else. Um, if you do have days that you go out to eat, like I definitely plan for either Friday or Saturday night to be a meal out or a meal with friends or whatever. And in that case, I plan for that to be part of my week. I don't act surprised when it comes. And that helps me stay accountable and stick to my macros most of the time. And next week I'll be doing all the cooking, all the meal prepping. You guys can get to watch that. And if you have any other suggestions for things that you need help with, please also message me on Instagram or uh, send an email to soulfitlabsla at gmail.com and we'll cover whatever topics you guys are struggling with. Uh, until then, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peanut, is that what you're having for dinner? Hmm, where'd you get that big old pizza, mister? Is that part of your meal plan? I didn't see pizza on the meal plan. Was it? Was it on there?